So apparently, this thing happened again. I don't know how many of you remember this. It happened, I think, eight years ago. Um, and this made me laugh quite a bit. So the Guardian is reporting on it. Experts call for regulation after latest botched art restoration in Spain. Copy of Immaculate Conception painting by Mario, reportedly cleaned by furniture restorer. <laughs> So you read the article and you find out that a guy offered to do it for like 1,200 euros, which seems like a cheap price to deal with such an expensive painting. And the results are abysmal. <laughs> My question is, how are people so nonchalant about picking the people to do the restoration? Because obviously this is fraudulent. Like the person doing it has no idea what the hell they're doing. And so, and how do you have the nerve to even try it? How do you have the nerve to try it? If you're somebody who you know you don't know how to do this, you're like, I don't know, I'll take a crack at it. And the results are like, I could draw a better face than that. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> somebody on Twitter said, I hope this never stops happening. Yeah, I mean, it is probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. I remember... When the original one happened, which is this one, they call it Monkey Jesus, right? That was the original. They needed it to get restored. They sent it to somebody. And that's how it came back. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw this story. I may have left. It was like top five all time. Laugh the hardest in my life. The first time I saw this. The first time I saw this, I was, I, I laughed so hard that my stomach hurt like my abs hurt I, it was it was just so it was non-stop laughter for an extended period of time where I had trouble breathing because you really think like oh come on if you're like if you're a museum or you're a wealthy private art collector and you need to get something restored how do you not do like extensive research to make sure you go to the right people I mean, you you destroyed like a very famous painting <laughs> Uh, I feel like there's a metaphor in there somewhere about, you know, the state of the world right now and what's happening in 2020. <laughs> like, this is kind of like, oh man, everything's messed up. Let's fix it. Oh, no, we made it worse. 